Welcome to the video, guys. Y'all see I'm at the gym. It's 8 a.m. About to get this early workout in. I got this pre-workout in me, so I'm a little rowdy. Please excuse the excitement and the hype. But I'm about to go in here, do shoulders and abs. Don't worry, guys.
Just chill out. All right, so I'm kind of close in time for that little surprise I was speaking of earlier. So I had to cut the workout a little bit short. I'm just going to move abs into Sunday's cardio session. That's all, I was, you know, plain and simple. Nothing to cry over spilled milk about. But 
Gary Leaf Giant. Go home and shower. Start this day. Like I said, y'all coming along with me, so stay tuned, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. See y'all in the next scene. To speak exactly on the whole anniversary thing that I mentioned earlier on today, I really want to basically break down why I'm, I, I'm saying that it's an anniversary for me. The reason is being two years ago, August 16th, 2019, I believe it was. I know it's only June, but I feel like it's coming close. And plus, like I said, Father's Day is actually coming up. So on August 16th, uh, 2019, <clears throat> I got into a motor vehicle accident, but not just any motor vehicle accident. It wasn't in a car, I was on a bike. Make a long story short, a uh, lady cut me off. Um, she was in the far lane, came over, and when my light went green, and I had to right away, because I was going straight, she uh, cut me and the guy who was turning as well off for him to inch up and for me to go. And basically, before I even collided with her, I blacked out. Um, I woke up, the sergeant, or lieutenant or whoever of the police department of that township was standing above me, told me not to move. I tried to move, that was the first thing when I gained consciousness I tried to do. Um, I couldn't move my legs, so I was very worried then, like, obviously. So I, I, I didn't try to move, uh, waited for the ambulance to come. They came, picked me up, took me to the hospital. I left the hospital that day I didn't really get fair treatment because I didn't have health insurance at the time. So it was kind of like I had no choice. They wasn't gonna keep me and, and cater and take care of me. They basically was like, look, you don't got insurance. You're not even getting crutches, get out. <laughs> so um, luckily my best friend had crutches that she let me use. I wound up being able to be on like, I was on like bed rest, obviously. But the next day I was able to move around a little bit more and function. I think for like the first three weeks, maybe maybe the first like month after that accident, obviously my body was hurting from like the phalanges in my feet all the way up to like migraines. It was that it was that deep, and I couldn't understand it because it was literally um, I tore tissue in my right hip and I herniated two discs and they're they're pinching on two nerves. And I'm obviously blessed and fortunate to even just have just that alone. But, um, so the lady cut me off. She had two kids in the car. They weren't in car seats. And they let her just walk. I, I, I know it doesn't sound realistic, but I literally can't make this up. Like, I don't understand the justice between that situation. But more of the story, anyway. Fast forward two years down the line. Well, a year later. Let's say a year later, right? I said, all right, I'm gonna give it another try. So I went and I got a 300 motorcycle right now i'm getting bashed by this lady in the back here everyone say hi to grandma hi that's not just my grandma that's everyone's grandma everyone they 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 acknowledge her as grandma all right so when you see her as a matter of fact comment below say grandma in the comments but anyway so i i, I decided to get 300 lower it down that's the the cc basically the speed or power of the bike that i got my first bike at so i got a 300 um more of that story was now these are all lessons i'm coming from ac late night and it's literally foggy and misty like rain i had a passenger on the back now mind you this isn't the first time i had a passenger on, on my on, on my back when i was riding a bike my very first bike i rode all the way to new york for the very first time ever going to new york not knowing the roads or nothing G just relying on gps and taking a chance and literally there and back perfect ride absolutely fun I enjoyed the, the hell out that day so i thought nothing of it on this occasion coming from ac besides the simple fact that it was dark didn't know the weather was gonna get bipolar on me but that's jersey for you so, moral story, 
riding back. Can't really see through my sun visor because the mist of the rain. And um, I couldn't see ahead. I'm worried, obviously, because deer like to run out on the highway at that time. And so I had to lift my visor and basically use my actual eyes. That was the most, like, scariest day of riding I've ever had. It, it was more scarier than my actual accident, right? Finally make it back to the, you know, our hometown, basically. And I need a gas. So I'm waiting at the light. And there's obviously a cross, it's a four-way intersection, so this car is going this way. Now the light changes, and a truck decides to eat a red light. He eats the red light as I'm turning. Luckily, I observed his headlight reflection on the lane that I was merging in, and I swerved being the passenger out the way, and we wanted to fall. Um, my first instinct, as soon as I hit the ground, was to bounce up to make sure that there wasn't a car coming in the lane we landed. And in the great, with the grace of God, literally, we were blessed once again, especially well, mainly me, because this is the second time around. There was no car coming. I was able to get us to the side of the road safely. And but right then and there, they clicked in my head. This is like it's not meant. It's not worth it. So now we fast forward to today. As I mentioned before, Father's Day is coming up and the anniversary of my accident. Y'all you guys seen that I drive a 2020 Honda Civic that I got last year. But and it, it, it definitely is one of the cars that I wanted because I used the detail and every time I got it, I always felt like this is, this is, I like this car. This is something that I like, I want, you know? And since I ain't necessarily riding anymore, it doesn't mean I can't, you know, uh, I guess exchange that for something that makes me feel special in a way or gives me that adrenaline rush or, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel good when I look at it or get in it. So we fast forward today. And today is the day. Today is the day I get my dream car. Stay tuned. Yeah. Well, I want to 
Oh, perfect. Yeah, you're gonna be all set up. That's the way to go. I work short. It would be the average to have a temp tag on, got a couple signatures, registration document, wise. Just so we get that uh, permanent plates and the registration sent out to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Want to, if you have an address right here in Clementon, the 174. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I didn't want to butcher it. Um, but the permanent plates and the permanent registration will come out to you in about 20 days. Until then, you're set up right here with this step tag. They're going to get mailed right to you. Okay. If you want to pop them on yourself, you're welcome to. If you want to stop by here, then we can do that for you. Head, whatever's most convenient. <laughs> of an inconvenience that. Yeah. We're going to be right past this uh, black sign, kind of hanging a lot where it says no customer parking. And you'll see a beautiful white Model 3 out here with your name on it. Hey. Exciting day, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, I like, I like the sound of it. They're no joke for sure. <laughs> Tons of fun. It's good you have the test drive because that's always like, you know, your introduction to it. It's a little bit different the right. way it drives and handles, although much better. But, mm -hmm. and we're either the first one or the fifth one out here. Double check. Uh, we have it. Oh, I love the white on the white over white. Yeah, it's dark. It's so dark. Woo! Just gonna unlock that for you right over here. Put that yeah. under the mirror. Mirrors unfold there. I can turn these right over to you, sir. Thank you. And then, like I said, we're gonna get your phone key set up. Um, while you start checking it out, I'm just gonna take uh, about a minute to put this temp tag on the back for you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Smell like new money. <laughs> Smelling like new money. And these are the cards inside of this. Yes, sir. Yep. Grandma, let me see that smile. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Look, and look, this is the key right here. Huh? This is my key. Oh, okay. Put that right in here. Mm -hmm. In a second, I'm going to keep them in the tuck. You know what I'm saying? Because I got seat covers and I like the white. The white looks good. She with that car over there in the corner with the Steelers on. This goes inside. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. This looks like, looks yeah, like everything's up. Yep. Do you even see the front doors <laughs> are open currently? Right. Uh, but what we want to do is hit the phone key to get started. See that button right here? Of, uh, no, it's like the second one down here. Okay. With this one? Uh, one's lower. Of course, it's phone key. Okay. Yep. And then we'll hit start. Mm -hmm. And that would allow you while using the app. It's going to ask you to place the credit card keys right on the center console. Uh, just top, pop them right behind the, the cup holder there on that ledge. And you only have to do this if you get another phone, because it will be uh, just device specific. And we should see the phone go through and say success. Perfect. So now your phone's set up. As long as that phone's in the car, anywhere in the car, you press the brake, you're able to shift and then go ahead and drive. The um, the backup cards, like, yeah, you already have it set up. Keep it on your just a valet situation or mm -hmm. someone's driving it. You know, you don't want really them to have phone access because you're the, the master of the vehicle right here. Right. The, the climate and the controls menu are pretty cool. You see it's currently 82 degrees. Mm -hmm. If you tap in there, you can set your, your temperature to anything you'd like, as well as set yourself up with the front seat heaters if you need. Okay. Uh, the controls menu, which is the one below that climate menu, is a little bit more in depth in terms of like what you can do. Yeah, flash lights, honk the horn, trunks. So more like a regular key fob if okay. you needed to use it. But at the end of the day, you're just gonna be walking up, walking away. It's all gonna take care of it itself. For you. Okay. No, cool. in and out. Uh, so we got your phone key set up. The other two things I want to make sure we get you all comfortable with so before you roll out is like a you know comfortable seat position, driver mm -hmm. profile, save all that up for you. Okay. And then also, uh, if you want to hook your phone up Bluetooth wise for like phone calls, music, that kind of stuff. Okay. I want to set you up with that. So if you want to hop in, you know, and uh, yeah. find a nice comfortable and position. All right, Grandma, watch out. Let him get on the other side. Actually, they they still have me out of the car, so I'm just gonna oh, talk okay. to I'm gonna talk through the driver window. If that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you want to hang on to the paper mat or I can get rid of that? Your call. We'll no, keep, it, cool. keep it nice I, I, I for now. I my mats and everything. Oh, perfect. Then you're all set up. <laughs> I'm just going to lower this window. Sorry for it. Okay. So once you're in a good position with your seat on the left-hand side, we're gonna start getting that saved up. Do you see the profile button right in the top middle? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, tap that and hit create driver profile. Okay. Now name it what you want the car to know your profile as. So your name, nickname, you know, whatever you go by. Okay. Name create, and then we can start with mirrors or steering wheel. Go ahead and give it a tap right there in the middle. And this is a little bit different. You're gonna use that left-hand scroll wheel. You're gonna scroll up and down, and then press left and right on that. Yeah, you got it. Okay. 
the right. Yep, and the same with the left. Mirror should look good? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, just the rear view is going to be manual. That's uh, the only one there. So I okay. get that a little. Perfect. And we can exit right out of that mirrors menu in the top left there. Right yep. And then we'll hit steering wheel. Okay. And that's going to be a similar situation. Left hand there. Yep. Going up and down and then left and right on that. And then oh, okay. I'll pull it out just by pushing it over. I like your end. Right here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. So now that's locked in for you. Safe. Yep. Go for it. So now that is uh, all set up for you. So any kind, anytime you change any settings, it's gonna save right in your profile. Because uh, there's a lot of super customizable stuff that you're gonna want to try one way and you know dial it in, kind of uh, tailor it to what you prefer. A lot right. of customizable stuff, which is really cool. Right. Uh, why don't you pop into the main menu? It's the bottom left-hand corner. It's the little car icon. Yep. And then find that locks tab. It's like the third one down. Mm -hmm. And uh, first thing we want to do is next to your uh, Galaxy, go ahead and tap that little person. Yep. So now it knows your profile, your phone, who's walking up, who to set it to. Okay. And then down the bottom, do you see walk away door lock? Yeah. Turn that one on as well. Uh, that's going to be when your phone gets about 40 feet away. It's going to lock itself up automatically for you so you don't even have to, to think about it. Cool, cool. So those are like the big ones, like I said, I want to get set up with. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, uh, would you like your phone paired for Bluetooth uh, music? Yeah. And that's, yeah, perfect. So there's a little Bluetooth icon in the top right hand corner there. And you can hit start search. And let's go into the Bluetooth. Yeah, you already got it. And we'll see your phone appear right on that Bluetooth menu. And just make sure the numbers match on both devices. Uh, they always match. And you can hit pair from the phone. And it'll push itself through. And then I would check priority device at the top, um, just because that's, uh, you, you know, you're the primary driver. Right. And then you have a couple permission uh, requests down here, depending on what you want it to, to allow it to show and that sort of stuff. And you can customize that right from the, the phone screen. And the, yeah, exactly. You got it. So now that's set up, once again, it's gonna automatically connect as you walk up. Um, if there's other people connected, it's still gonna prioritize yours as you're set as the priority device. Okay. So now that's paired up, um, all locked and loaded. The windshield wipers are automatic. The wipers are set to automatic. So nothing you need to really worry about um, dialing in too quickly. Definitely just kind of get comfortable with it. And then from there, try the different driving modes, the mm -hmm. different settings to, to customize it all out. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to buy um, got some signatures from you just so yeah. we can get that vehicle registered. I can close this up? Yeah, you can close out of that and you can hang out right in the car. Um, boom. Mm-hmm. I've been making like a thousand. That's little. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. You empty out your trunk. Man. You back this space. You gonna tell us what's in the box? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get out. This protection will keep my fluids clean. Here. I see my big ball. And I got rims underneath these. These mm -hmm. are just caps, but mm -hmm. I keep those on to uh, save on um, the economy, you know, electric, basically. Because they're um, they're like air scope type things. Look at my trunk. My trunk. Yeah. And then I got a frunk. It's got a fucking trunk. <laughs> It's about damn time. All that shit you be carrying. You got plenty of room. Yes, sir. He didn't stay off. We won't, we won't, we won't.
take note of this. What? Oh, you got a. Whoa! You got a front one too. Yeah. This for your tire now? No. It's just more space. Best friend, where's your engine? Underneath. No, it's not an engine. It's a battery. <laughs> a giant battery. I'm no silly. I was just, you know. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. Hee hee ha ha. So silly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he he going That's like he can. That's a little ass truck. He should be able to get around. He going like he can. So let's see, cause I got it on camera. Uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. You had confidence. What's that one? For the trunk. Oh, okay. Yeah, blue dumpster. Mm -hmm. oh, that the Oh, that's extra. I've been so patient. <laughs> so patient. I've been so patient. Can you let your fans know how many years it's been you've been with Dan Tesla? Since they came out. Keep it being. And what year did they come out? Uh, that's hard to say because it started with, I think, the Model S. That was scary. Model S. And um, now they're, they're, they got a list of cars, obviously, that everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> I say your fans saw that. Thoughts? I'm excited. Can't wait to get on the road and everything and play with the features. I haven't really gotten to really mess with everything. Customize it. You don't. You don't need a front wheel. But do we need charging now? No. Oh, okay. You just asked me that. This lady. Okay. Somebody get this lady away from me. So I know. I'm just making sure. Yeah, nah. It's good. And I'm going to be using regenerative braking, so I save on electricity juice. And what, what does that mean, sir? So basically, instead of me using my brakes to stop, it will automatically slow down after I uh, release my foot off the gas. So mm. it's like, um, I don't know the exact example I can use. Maybe a like a moped, automatic. As soon as you let go of the throttle, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? So that's how the car is. It also uh, helps with the electricity that it's running on, prolongs it. Go ahead, lady, you sit that tushy in there. Adjust your seats, get comfy. Mm -hmm. Looking yeah. sexy today. Mm hmm. There you go. You see that smile one more time? <laughs> you proud of your this grandson? Is, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Is this better than a motorcycle? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was saying yes, that. Yes, it is. Look, we ain't even gonna be going anywhere for like 20 more minutes. She got her seatbelt on and ready. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is what it's all about, and I needed this moment because you know it's been dark. But <laughs> dark and light, but I need to stay motivated, stay focused, and just want to keep on doing more positive things in life. You know, better in myself, better in my life itself, and um, that's really what it's all about. And the gym helps with that, and good vibes help with that. Good vibes at all times.
Only negativity, all positive. No matter what. Go the wrong way. My back seat covers. Mm -hmm. Ikasa? Okay. Put it in. No. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I don't know if. What's next, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Oh, your bank statement that you... Oh, man. So... I'm gonna close out the video here, guys. I thank you for tuning in, man. Following, participating with the comments from earlier and everything. I appreciate it all, man. All support is well needed. Um, stay tuned for the next video, man. It's gonna keep coming. The content gonna keep coming. It's never gonna stop. Road to success, really. Road to success. Stay tuned for the next one, man. See y'all later.